All right, so a lot of people have been asking me what circuit supervision is, so I figured I'd just make a video on it. So basically what it is, is the fire alarm panel, at the end of each initiating device and NAC circuit, there's what's called an end of line resistor. So for this panel, it is 4.7 kilo ohms. Now, as you can see, the system is normal. That is because the panel can see each end of line resistor on the system. So let's say if I were to disconnect the zone one terminals, or the wires, it would go into a zone one trouble. It would say system trouble, zone one. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate a NAC fault. Same thing, it's just a, it's just a trouble with the NAC circuit. So we're gonna pretend by taking this off, we're gonna pretend we cut a wire. So we cut the wire, all right. Now I took the spectral alert off, it, off the mounting bracket and the panel knows that because it can't see the resistor. So I have a system trouble and a NAC fault. So we're gonna go ahead and acknowledge that. All right, there we go. Now we come over here, here's how the panel knows that. As you can see, we have three terminals right here, two positives and one negative. So both of the negatives are under the same terminal and the two positives are separated. When I took the spectral alert off of the mounting bracket, it interrupted the flow of electricity from this wire to that wire. So the connection is broken here. In order for the fire alarm system to be normal, the panel needs to see both sides of the resistor. All right, so now let's say, okay, the wire gets fixed and all. Put this back on. All right, that's on the mounting bracket. We come over here and the system is normal because the panel can see the resistor. All right, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to let me know. And yeah, have a good day.